Hi, this is Abhin Bharti and welcome to TFR News. This week, Microsoft showed us that a great company innovates and improvises in the time of crisis. Instead of cancelling its build conference, Microsoft went virtual and it still managed to create ripples. One of the biggest announcements out of the conference was Microsoft's journey to make Windows 10 the preferred platform for developers. At its first virtual build conference, Microsoft announced many exciting updates for the Windows subsystem for Linux. The software joint promised to equip its Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL2, with support for GPUs, Linux GUI apps, and a simplified install and experience. Uh, with WSL2, Windows is the best developer environment for building apps, even for Linux, uh, with support for graphical interfaces, applications, and access to the GPU. Linux apps now run alongside Win32 as first class. Uh, so it's great to see the progress. WSL enables Windows users to run native, unmodified Linux command line tools and apps directly in Windows, alongside all these favorite Windows apps and tools. Microsoft also plans to start a preview of GPU compute support for WSL in Windows 10 Insider Builds in the next few months. Initially, the GPU compute capability will support two scenarios. NVIDIA CUDA with support for existing Linux tools and workflows used by professionals and DirectML, initially targeting beginners and students, leveraging DirectX 12 capable GPUs for several vendors. Microsoft said that it is also introducing the change to make WSL2 the new default distribution type when installing WSL for the first time. Later this month, you can expect WSL2 to arrive in the next major Windows 10 update, also called the Windows 10 May 2020 update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time.